Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. Hi! Today we're going to be doing another Sky Factory 4 tutorial, although this does work on other packs, it just depends on how the recipes are set up. Alright, so we are going to be setting up a simple ME storage system today. So it's going to come have this complete setup when we are done. Now, we will do other videos on applied energistics and setting up a better storage system, but for now, this is just going to get you started. All right. So to get started, what we need is you need to need either a metallurgic infuser or an alloy furnace. Either one, we're going to need redstone and we're going to need crystallized mineral, mineral chunks. And of course, that'll be from your mineral tea. And that'll give us Fluix crystals. Now with those Fluix crystals, we're going to make a whole bunch of recipes. Now with the alloy furnace, you have to use the regular redstone, not the block. It does not work with the block, but the same thing goes. You just put one in and it makes a Fluix crystal. So that's how we get either one of these. With the metallurgic infuser, I like to keep a block of redstone in there, but that's, that's just your personal preference. All right, so then after we get that, once we have a Fluix crystal, we're going to make an inscriber. I like to make four of these just because uh, for the different presses and one to actually complete the processors and circuits and all that. But uh, you can start with just one. That is fine. You can just change these out. Okay, so you're going to need two sticky pistons, a five iron ingots, and a Fluix crystal, and that'll make you one inscriber. So once we have the first inscriber, you're going to need to hook it up to some kind of power. I have it hooked up to the energy acceptor, which we're going to make today. Um, but once you have any of these connected to the energy acceptor, any connected to it will automatically pay, be powered. So all these have full power already. So this first one here, we're going to take a chisel head cast and a cobble piece of cobblestone. And that is going to give us the first piece that we need in order to make these presses. And that is the cobblestone circuit mold. So then we're going to take that over to our smell tree here. And we have three. Well, this is my first, not, not first time recording this because, yeah. All right. <laughs> so for the first one, you're going to want to pour molten iron over it. I've already put them in the smell tree uh, just to save us a little bit of time. But for the first one, you're going to want molten iron. Now for the second one, we're going to want uh, molten steel. Uh, that's Farabon steel. For the next one, we're going to want steel, and then we're going to want Tef alloy and Farabon for the last two. So as soon as that fills up. So the first one is the silicone press, and that is the absolute first one you're going to need. And then the one with the steel is the calculator press. I always get the names of them wrong. Uh... Oh, I clicked up here. The logic press. There we go. All right. So, um, and then you do the same for molten tough alloy. And then the other one you would do would be Farabon. Okay. So you're just going to do the same process. All right. Now we're going to come back over here to our inscriber. And we're going to take that back out and we're going to shift click and it'll automatically put our inscriber press where it needs to be. So then we're going to piece of, take a piece of silicone, and that's going to make these printed silicone presses. As long as you see this here on the side working, then it means you're fully powered and everything's going great. As you can see, it doesn't take a very long time, so if it's not working properly, then something's wrong. Now this is why I said I like to make multiples, because then we can have these going. Now with the logic press, we're going to put a gold ingot in, and that'll give us the printed logic circuits. And then with the inscriber, uh, the inscri engineer press, we're going to put diamond in and it'll give us the printed engineer press. Now to make these, you're going to put them in one with nothing in it. So then we're going to put the circuit, we're going to put one of the printed silicone and a piece of redstone. Now you can also do advanced inscriber and we will talk about that next time. The nice thing about these is you can put a stack in and it's just going to keep printing them. 
as long as it has power, which that one does not, so. But as you can see, then we have two, same goes for this. You just put them all in there and it'll craft it for us. All right, so let's go make a couple of different things so we can get our setup going. So this is quartz fiber and we're gonna need quite a bit of this. So we're gonna do gla six glass, three on top, three on bottom, and three crushed quartz. Each one will give you three quartz fiber, but we need to turn those into Fluix cables. These are the main cables you will need for your system and you're probably gonna need a lot. So you're gonna put the quartz fiber there and two Fluix crystals. And each recipe gives you four, which makes it really nice. All right, next we're gonna need quartz glass. So we're gonna need five crushed quartz and four glass. And each recipe will give us four quartz glass. Now with the quartz glass, we're gonna make our energy acceptor. So we need a Fluix crystal in the middle, four iron ingots, and four quartz glass. And so then we have our energy acceptor. Now the energy acceptor is what I was saying here, that's what is powering all this. Uh, you would have to have some kind of power running to it. Um, or what I did is I have the GPS markers uh, connected to it and hooked up out here to our energy transfer notes. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a separate video on that. All right, so then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make, um, well, we already made the presses. Okay, so the presses that we made then we are gonna come back over here and make our ME drive. So you're gonna make two of the engineering presses with four iron ingots and two Fluix court glass cables. And so that'll make one ME drive. Now you can make more than one ME drive, but to start off with, all you need is one. But the way the ME drive works is, this is the storage house to put your storage disk in. So that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, so next we're gonna make the storage drives. Now, this one is the storage component, so it holds items. So this one, you, we would have the logic processor in the middle, four of the Fluix cables, and four redstone. Now, if you wanna do it as fluid, you switch out that redstone for lapis, and that would give you a fluid drive. So obviously, the other one holds items, This the fluid one holds fluids. Either way, whichever one you do, then you put it in a housing. So to do that, you put the storage drive in the middle, three redstone, two quartz glass, and three iron ingots along the bottom. And that creates these drives. So if you look in here, these are the storage drives. So you put them in here and the ME drive will hold 10 of these, I had to count, because. <laughs> I forgot how many it holds, but it holds 10 of them. And you can do larger ones, but we'll cover that in a next video. All right, now, uh, next we're gonna need formation cores. And for that, you need the crystallized mineral chunk, Fluix dust, which you just need to crush the Fluix crystals, and a logic processor. Each recipe will give you two. Then we need the annihilation core, which is nether quartz, Fluix dust, and logic processor. So the only part of the recipe that changes is the mineral is on the other one and the quartz is on this one, okay? And again, the recipe gives you two. Now, next we need a illumination panel. So we're gonna need three quartz glass, two glowstone dust, one redstone, and an iron ingot. It gives you three, although we only need one, but save it because we will, you know, you could put different crafting or terminals in different areas with just one system. And for the last part, we are gonna make an ME terminal. So you're gonna take one of those panels and then you're gonna put the formation core, the annihilation core, and the logic processor. Okay, so that's all we're gonna craft. Now we're going to set this up. Okay, we actually have one more recipe. Um, the ME interface. So we're gonna take another formation core and an annihilation core, four iron ingots and two glass, and that will make our ME interface. Now we're ready to set it up. So you're gonna set down your ME interface and you're gonna set the energy acceptor right next to it. And then next to those, you're gonna set the ME drive. 
Now, I just, you shift right click and you put these drives in here. Like I said, you can fill it up with 10 of them. And then back here, all you do is you shift, right click a cable down and you put your ME terminal in top of it. Now, if I put anything in here now, we'll be able to access it and it'll store our stuff because it stores this in these drives here. Now, it'll tell you when it's full. So right now it has 206 of 1,024 bytes used and 19 of 63 types. Now, there's higher drives, but we'll cover those in another video. If they start to turn red, then that means they're getting full. When they're completely red, they're full. When they're like an orangish color, then they're getting full. And that is our simple setup. It is not a crafting terminal, but we'll do that next time because we have to do a little bit further process and it's gonna take a little bit more time. But that's it. That is how we set this up. Um, and then we'll get into uh, connecting more stuff to it, including uh, other storage devices and all that kind of stuff. But this is the basic setup, so hopefully that helps. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned.